Greetings, fellow editors. Spellbook, a tool for assigning shortcuts to extension commands, has finally become a standalone application. Previously, it was integrated into Excalibur, and there was no access to Spellbook without Excalibur. This release changes that. Spellbook currently works only with new extension Quiver, but it will be gradually supported by every night's extension. So if you have Grave Robber, Watchtower, Anchor or other tools, you will be able to control them all with Spellbook. A note about Excalibur. I'm in the process of rewriting it, so for now it will use the old version of Spellbook, the integrated one. There is no shortcut conflict check between the old and new versions, so be careful when assigning shortcuts in either of them. When the rewrite is finished, Excalibur will also support the new Spellbook. Let's talk about the features of the new Spellbook. First of all, Spellbook will launch automatically with Premiere Pro and close itself after you close Premiere Pro. It can be opened from Extensions menu Tray icon or with a shortcut To assign a shortcut to an extension command click on an input box and press the shortcut If the shortcut is already used by Premiere Pro you won't be able to use it and you will get a warning. Also, now you can trigger extension commands directly with URL link. This is especially useful for control surfaces like Stream Deck, Touch Portal and others. Here's how to add a command to a Stream Deck. Click on the link icon near command in Spellbook. It will be copied to the clipboard. Open Stream Deck and search for the website option. Drag it to a button. Paste the copied link. That's it. When you press the button in Stream Deck, the command will be executed. With Profiles, you can create different shortcut presets that will be focused on specific tasks or workflows. It is easy to switch between them. Either click on the tray icon and select the profile you need, or toggle it with a shortcut. If needed, you can export the current profile and import it on another computer. The shortcuts file is compatible with both macOS and Windows. For now, I haven't made any conversions for modifier keys when moving between different operating systems. So, Shift on macOS will be Shift on Windows, Option will be Alt, Control will be Control, and Command will be the Windows key. Yes, I said Windows key. Interestingly enough, you can use the Windows key as a modifier on Windows. However, a lot of Windows key shortcuts are already occupied by Windows itself. But you can find some nice combinations. A bit about how Spellbook works. Spellbook, like before, only listens for shortcut presses when Premiere Pro is active. For example, you won't be able to switch profiles or open Spellbook with a shortcut if Premiere Pro is not active. Also, be aware that shortcuts assigned in Spellbook will only trigger an extension command and their default system behavior will be blocked. For example, pressing A will trigger command execution and won't type the letter A in a text box. That is all. Thank you.